Alrighty, friends, so let's go over what we're going to need for this experiment. I have six empty cups with droppers in them. They're actually called pipettes, but same concept, dropper, pipette. I have some oil, food coloring, and a baking tray. And then I also have a pitcher of water, which you cannot see in this shot, but you will be able to see momentarily. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm taking my pitcher of water and I'm going to fill six cups with just a bit of water. I have a seventh cup, but I'm going to leave that one off to the side because that will be for my oil. Friends, you don't have to use baby oil. You can use whatever oil you want. You can use whatever food coloring you want, and you can use however many colors you want. So I'm gonna start by making every color of the rainbow. So I have my yellow, and now I'm gonna make orange. So I'm starting with my yellow food coloring, and I'm adding some red, because yellow and red make orange. Now I'm making my red. My green, my blue, and purple by mixing blue and red. Now I'm going to put some baby oil into my last cup. And we are ready to go. I'm going to start by taking drops of all of my colors and placing them onto the tray. I'm using the pipette to squeeze the colored water out of the pipette and onto the tray. I want to make a rainbow-like effect, so I'm adding different colors all over with my water. Now. Once your drops are all done, you're going to want to take your baby oil or your oil and squeeze a little bit onto each drop of water. Okay, so I'm taking my oil and I'm adding a little bit onto each drop. Now, I'd like to say here, I probably used a little bit too much oil here. Um, you actually don't need quite this much, and we're going to see why later on. So you guys can see that I have my drops of water and they are covered in oil. And friends, what do we see? The oil and the water are not mixing together. The oil is just sitting on top of the water. Okay, so now I'm grabbing some paper. Oh, I forgot to mention that was another one of my supplies. Thick cardstock paper. You can try this with regular paper, but since we're going to be dunking it into the liquid, thicker paper is always better. I'm going to place it onto my drops and press it down. I'm trying to soak up as much of the color as I can. You'll see though, when I take it off, I didn't get a ton of color. It's very light, but don't worry. I'm gonna set it aside to dry and we will do some more with it in just a few moments. So I'm going to, you can see some of the color there, but again, it's very light. I'm going to try this again, and I decided to add some more food coloring to my water, so I made it a little bit darker, and now I'm going to add my drops. I'm going to squeeze my drops onto my tray, and I'm adding more drops than I did the first time. I decided I wanted darker color and more drops, okay? So I'm adding a lot, and so you guys can see I have a lot more than I did the first time. And now I'm going to take my oil and squeeze it all over the water drops. And I'm taking my piece of paper and I'm going to press it on. Again, try and soak up as much color as you can. And you'll see it was a little bit better that time. Let's go back.
It was a little bit better that time, but still quite light, okay? So we're gonna try and do this another way. Now I have a new tray and I'm adding more water this time. And I'm making it darker. I have my blue. I'm going to add my red because I decided why not just make it purple. Again, I'm gonna add more food coloring to make it darker. And then I am going to place some paper towels and get them ready. Okay, so now I'm taking my oil and I'm squeezing it over the top. Again, I probably used a little too much oil. Okay, friends, just a heads up, I would try doing this with less oil. And now I am dunking my paper into the water and I'm going to take it out and set it on my paper towels to dry. So you can see, I decided to grab my, my dropper, my pipette, and I added some more purple water on top. And then I picked up the paper and I dumped off the excess, the extra. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one more time, but this time I already have some leftover oil on the pan. So I'm not going to add any more oil. I'm only adding drops of colored water. Okay, friends? Because remember, like I said, I put too much oil, so I'm gonna try doing this with less oil and more drops of water. The reason why I wanted to do these rainbow drops is because I wanted rainbow paper. When, you, when we did it the other way, where we dunked the paper into the purple water, when you do it that way, you can only use one color. And here I wanted to use multiple colors. Okay, so again, we're taking our paper and we're pressing it as hard as you can, trying to get as much color as you can. I'm going to pick it up and set it aside. So I have all of my papers sitting on paper towels and drying, and I decided to take my droppers from every cup of water and add some drops to the pages. Just water, no oil. And I'm just squeezing them all over. Your paper's going to get pretty damp, but that's okay because it's going to dry later. You guys can see that I have some color, you can see the purple, but again, it's not super bright. So I'm going back and adding more color. I'm taking each one. So I have my green, purple, now I'm doing blue, and I'm squeezing it all over my paper. Now friends, really quickly, you guys can see where the oil soaked into the paper, right? We get this really cool marble effect because the oil soaks into the paper and the water doesn't mix where the oil is because even on paper, oil and water don't wanna mix together. So we see this really cool effect where the colored water is staying separate from the spots of oil. I'm taking my yellow, I'm dropping it all over. I'm going to pick them up and dump off the extra water and then I'm going to set them back on my paper towels to dry. And if you look, I got some more color when I did this and it definitely looks a little bit brighter, a little bit more colorful. Here you can see even more colors. You can see the spots where the oil was. And again, my friends, I would definitely encourage you to try this with darker colored water and less oil, okay? So that was our steps. That's how you do it. I will show you how they turned out.